India's most ambitious uh, mission, Gaganyaan, could get going in March next year with the first unmanned mission of the country going to space. It's a big milestone in India's uh, space history and India would be sending ships with its scientists. My colleague Aman Sharma is the one who's getting us uh, that exclusive. Aman, the details? Well, uh, Arunima, the Gaganyaan mission is one of the most ambitious space missions of the country. We, that is the sending uh, Indian astronauts to space. A deadline of which is 2026 for that particular mission. Four Indian astronauts also training for the same. The government informed us earlier. The first unmanned mission, you know, which is really determined the success of the manned mission. The first unmanned mission, what we are learning, ISRO plans to do it in March next year. We'll be sending this unmanned mission to space and, uh, you know, ships will be sent both to the North Atlantic Ocean as well as the Pacific Ocean to observe this particular mission, ISRO scientists will be on board on these particular vessels and from there this mission will be observed and monitored and the success of this particular unmanned mission of Gaganyaan, which will also be a first for Indian uh, space history is expected to happen in yeah. March next year. Right, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, this, uh, you know, visual now of the Prime Minister's cavalcade moving inside the Parliament House. Uh, his entire convoy is moving in and any moment now you will see uh, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister and MOS Prime Minister's office uh, go and uh, receive the Prime Minister and then uh, that soundbite, uh, that tradition of the Prime Minister speaking to the media about what the government expects. Mostly he says that the opposition must cooperate and he reiterates uh, that uh, the government is willing to discuss all issues. But Pallavi, this time I'm around... I'm sorry to interrupt you, talking about visuals, the first visuals of the India Bloc meeting have already come out. Remember at 10 a.m. was one that meeting was called by Mr. Malikarjun Kharge of the floor leaders of of the India bloc, conspicuous by the absence and from the first pictures I'm seeing is the Trinamool Congress. But what is going to be their strategy? What is going to be their plan? We're going to try and get some more words, but their plan is very clear. They want to get out the government. They are not going to be cowed down by the electoral results because they say that these are people's issue which needs to be raised beyond Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections. They want to talk about the Manipur issue, the Adani issue, the pollution. Multiple adjournment notices have been given on this issue will that be taken on and from day to day basis is the issue that they are going to take on to get out the government we're going to wait for the prime minister of course he's going to be welcomed as he usually is by the parliamentary affairs minister and he then walks up and addresses the media and the mps cutting across party lines through that media bite that we are ready to debate and discuss everything this is a new session it is a new beginning and important bills which needs to be cleared Yes, uh, but the Prime Minister, uh, you know, is also expected to, to make a political speech when he addresses the media. Like Pallavi is saying, uh, the India front pictures that are coming out uh, does not automatically show us Trinamool Congress presence. So Pallavi, uh, Aman, Payal, uh, whatever the Prime Minister says, this is bad news for India front also. What's happened in Maharashtra is clearly dividing the India front rank. Well, you have not seen that uh, the TMC joined the meeting for quite a, quite a while right now. So I'm not really surprised as to why they are not present today.